Hallo everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Lands of Lore, the Throne of Chaos. Um, last time you heard about the Law of the Lands. Huh, every time he blinks that pixel it becomes white. That's interesting, I cannot unsee it now. Damn it, I have to start with one pixel. And we heard about this intro and... Well, we chose our champion, which is Arkshell, the Draculoid, who has a tendency for magic. If we click here on the magic simple, you can use all um, four um, levels of magic. At the moment, he only has one spell, but we get more with the time. So, ooh, what's this? Oh, yeah, I run sideways. I have to use the numpad. Uh, I hope you don't mind if I use the numpad instead of clicking here, because I'm used to that. Let's take a look around the keep. The hidden plumbing seems miraculous. Ah, sorry. I had to um redo the record this recording and accidentally saved over the save state I had one save state I had for this record for the previous one. Which wasn't as so bad because it was just um you know, choosing a character. But I forgot to turn the... This must be fed by an artesian well. I, had for, I forgot to turn the subtext on. Tapestries bring some warmth to the keep. Old saddle claws make fine hangings. Yeah, this really looks very pretty. Tapestries bring some warmth to the keep. Royal herborium. Ooh, herbs. Herbs are used for healing, so let's go. Shh. Did, did you hear something? If Scotia does attack, they say we won't hear a thing. Quickly now, point out what you need. Whoa, someone who isn't so nervous. Let's click around, because quite a lot of fears interactive. Who are you? They say the ruby and the shard are the only means of opposing the nether mask. I want to know who you are, not something to a plot, but I guess we're supposed to know you. Those are only experimental ingredients. Ah, yes, experimental and those. Those are only experimental ingredients. Ah, all right, experimental. Oh, I think I recognize this from Lands of Law 3. Yeah, I played Lands of Law 3 back then a lot. Actually, Lens of Law 3 was what really brought me to the series. Uh, actually, it was Lens of Law 2, which was rented by my dad back then. But we didn't go much farther and never played it again. Or better said, never rented it again. And then, through one of the sites where you get free games, where you could download free games, I got a little bit up from. Lands of Lore, this game here. I oh, forget for some Toki version. That salve is a secret Gorka recipe for healing. That is a 20 crown donation. Which he doesn't say here, so good that you have a talk version. I prescribe ginseng to neutralize poisons and soothe injuries. Would you like to buy a root? That is a 10 crown donation. No, we don't have much, much money and I would rather to use it for something else. But good to know. Ginseng is um, against poison. Good. That's aloe. Rub the leaf on wounds to heal them. Would you like to buy a leaf? Five crowns. Why is he so ashamed of his prizes? Farewell then. Farewell. Anyway, how I got really into Lands of Floor was through Lands of Floor 3. Which, why was bug written? I loved it. Who is this? Victor Glaston. Royal Armory. Ooh, Royal Armory, so we get weapons from here. Oh, so you come to see Victor, afraid of Scotia's new toy. Ha ha ha, why afraid? Look at Victor, myself could use a shape changer. Ha 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 Ah, you don't look that bad. You show Victor what you want to buy. Maybe you show Victor what you sell, okay? Ah, so we can sell stuff for, uh, for him. To him, better said. You 
have a thing to sell Victor? Nope. Now is not the time for training apprentice. What's this? I make even this wheel with these two hands. Ah, damn, that's... I mean, you have two big hands to do it. Now is not the time for training apprentice. Alright. Sword, what does this cost? Excellent weapon! 125 crowns. We don't have nearly enough. You need that maid? 40 crowns. We could buy it, but let's not for now. That one a weapon right for you. 60 crowns. Oh, I wonder why is this weapon worked for me? It's still too expensive. Need one dagger? 10 crowns. No thanks, we have a dagger on our own. See ya. You again come visit. No? I like this guy. Yeah, here we have our inventory. Actual. Mic 10, protection 8. If we take off our shirt and our sandals, we are naked. I wonder if he is wearing pants, but let's just imagine he's wearing pants. Alright, the dagger has 7 might, I think. I wonder if he would take the dagger off from Michael, who has uh, more natural mic, if he has more, um, if he has also more mic here. I think so. At least I would suggest it. The eagle is Richard's mascot. And you said to without moving your lips. The noble bird reflects Richard's spirit. Ah, there you go. The eagle is Richard's mascot. Much better. Jaron Oberoth, royal chamberlain. Ah, let's go inside. The door is locked. Oh. All right, we can look at all kinds of stuff, right? Fine swords, impressive decorations, sharp too. Which means, yeah, I also did it in a previous recording, and then I had to re-record it. Oh well. Sharp too. Sharp too. Yeah, stop touching it, dude. Sharp too. Oh, so this is his face when he is heavily wounded, alright. I could heal him by just resting, but I want to get a game over. Sharp too. <laughs> and this is how the mighty hero of St uh, Gladstone keep falls. Because he couldn't keep his hands off of decorative swords. If they are so sharp, why doesn't he take one? Oh, sorry about it. I forgot to um, turn off the sound of my cell phone. Which I'm also using as my alarm clock. The old tapestries glow with age. Ooh. Richard's great-grandfather, Ludwig. So, one of the founders is Ludwig Gladstone. Alright. The early Talamari were mounted warriors. Yes. Fun fact, in um, Lands of Law 3, the Talamari are actually the major major guild. So, we're going to assume that the Talamari are no mages, since we heard that, you know, Gladstone is the peak of magic and such. And as a mage, or at least as an apprentice, let's imagine that Axel is actually a member of a guild of a Talamari, so a mage guild member. That's a nice background. We still have to go to a throne room. Is that it? His Royal Majesty awaits you in the throne room. Oh look, you're not bearded in any way. Richard's battle banners await the call. They seem ready for the fight. Richard's battle banners await the call. Oh, you have a, you have a blonde beard. Nice. Let's go inside. There he is. I tell you, we must march with whatever troops can be gathered locally. Isn't Eric mustering his white army? Have we lost all confidence in our own military capabilities? 
Merrick is the finest commander in the kingdom, but he is a five-day march from here. As long as we have our own magic, I really don't see where we need more than the defenses we already have in place. Scotia is not an adversary to be taken lightly. Ah, Arkshell. Because of the threat from Scotia, I have an urgent need for the Ruby of Truth. Please retrieve it from Roland's estate in the Southland and return it to Gladstone. Here is a key to my private library. Among the books, you will find a magic atlas that should be of assistance on your journey. Come by my office before you leave the key. I'll give you a writ that will identify you as being on official business for His Highness. Nice, we get stuff. Can we get more stuff? The front door is locked. Aww. Have you found the Ruby of Truth? No. Additional questions for His Majesty. You are not to be admitted without the ruby. Why do we have a beard now? Or was he talking? Not to mention his beard had a had the wrong color. An ornate lock. Hmm. And so it came to pass that the ancient people of Gladstone, having discovered a method of controlling the magic. <laughs> Rose unto power amongst the barbarous tribes of the Great Wasteland. Why are barbarians always in wastelands? For my part, I travel not to go anywhere, but to go. I travel for travel's sake. That's pretty deep and actually admirable, I think. Never drink from underground waters. These will corrupt the heart and taint the mind. Many a twisted soul met its fate through unwise drinking. This could be uh, something for, uh, for alcoholics. Don't drink too much. So is this the magic atlas? It is. The magic atlas. It serves as our mini map. Oh, I guess I have to re-explore everything. Yep, knees, door. All right, let's re-explore everything. Because why not? Have you found the Ruby of Truth? Ah, no, you're clean shaved. You are not to be admitted without the Ruby. Bad, what a dick. You could be nicer to us. Jaron Aberoff, Royal Chamberlain. Oh, it's you. The impending storm attracts all you would be heroes. Now, I suppose you want your writ. Look, even the beasts seek shelter. Dude, you could be a little bit nicer. Oh, would be heroes. I was called by your king, so give me some respect. But no joking, this track is actually one of my favorites here. Too bad we only hear it here. Use your own maps. Those are mine. Or you could lend them to me for one day or two. I'm going to save a glance. If I floor. want you to touch something of mine, I'll ask you. Can I touch your bald head? What are you waiting for? Be gone. Oh, come on. If I want you to touch something of mine, I'll ask you. All right, if all you need right. Help, mayhap that rascal Timothy is at the Grey Eagle. Ah, he's probably more friendly than you are. He's probably an evil Chamberlain. Evil and corrupt. An incompetent. You again come to see Victor. Ah, too bad. Sometimes we have different dialogues. No. Ah, let's save here. There's no way when we go out, we can get killed. Let's explore the lads. this? I don't know. What is this? Rarakal's cave. Ah oh, yeah, we heard about this Rarakal. It also has a bigger role in the third game. We can sell it. And we have a dagger which can all sell. The nest, the, the nest is empty. Aww. Is that a suitable shirt you just wore out? 
Is that a suitable share huge of flora? Oh, I get for sure. That's good. Do it here. I dread is much too cold for swimming this time of year. Ah! Lake dread? I dread is much too cold for swimming this time of year. Why would you, why would you um, swim in a place called Lake Dread? Okay, that's how I get out. The music is pretty ominous. But I still like the track. Oh! Another dagger. I hope it's worth something. Ooh, hello. Oh. oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Ah, uh, we have magic. And just killed this thing. Good. Hey you. I'm taking your money. Can we bluff? This is all I had, sir. Is that all? Time's on top. Oh! Nice, it worked. Just give him one silver. What would a beautiful young woman be doing on a road like this? Excuse me, lad. Are you with King Richard? I need to get into the keep and I have forgotten the password. May I go in with you? I'm sorry, miss, but these are dangerous times. Timid fool. I will not forget you. And what does this game teach us? Be careful with your personal data. Don't give passwords away. What's this? This must be the marina. We go over later. First we want to do something else. We still want to explore everything here, right? No, it's like red again. Um, let's see. Oh, we can go there, we can go there. Let's go. The marina is in the south. I'm glad we're getting a compass later. I wish we had it already. I forgot how much is, uh, those swamps are worth. Why are thugs guarding that cave? I don't know, but I don't want to know. Because we could get into trouble. And we are out of magic. The nest is empty. Ooh, but we have another swamp. I just realized I play a lot of... A rock! I can throw it. Yeah, it has a similar engine to Eye of the Beholder, which is why we can also throw stuff around, like this. Or maybe not. Okay, maybe we cannot throw stuff around. That's too bad. Uh, oh, Gladstone Keep, yes. You may pass. Yeah, normally but this is a huge so we can tap it. Good for us. You again? Talk to see Victor. I've just seen Scotia. She turned into a bird and flew away. Maybe you go tell Jared. Good idea, but first. You need for sale that? Okay, my friend. 25 crowns. Alright. You need for sale that? Okay, my friend. 25 crowns. Yes. Ooh, can we get the sword? That would be awesome. You need for sale that? Okay, my friend. 25 crowns. Ooh, just a little bit more. Fine work. Except for rust spot. 5 crowns. Oh, he says something different here. But good to know we could go and tell Jaron, which we're going to do later. Fine work. Except for rust spot, five crown. Excellent weapon, one hundred and twenty five crown. Yes, you again come visit. No, ah, naturally, I will. Let's see. Oh, that's much better. Egg Mike. Oh, and we got some. 
po experience points in mage since we used magic to kill that um, boar and we are totally out of money you again come to see victor yeah you can have a stagger too that workmanship 10 crowns Oh, finest dagger, and we have get money again. No. I wish we could buy armor. Did you forget something? I've just seen Scotia. She turned into a bird and flew away. Oh no! You should tell Jiron right away. That I shall. Farewell then. Oh, I should also do some inventory management now. Royal Chamberlain Jared, I have to tell you something. Why are you back here so soon? The king will be most displeased. I've just seen Scotia. She turned into a bird and flew away. What? The king sends you on an important task, and you return here telling stories. Our security will never let her in. Um, she turned into a bird, buddy. Look there. <laughs> Scotia has golden eyes, so, um, look at this bird. You know what? You're incompetent, dude. Get out. Do not return without the ruby. Yeah, and don't try to poison the king while, you are, while we are while I'm away. There you go. Have you found the ruby of truth? I have additional questions for his majesty. You are no. not to be admitted without the ruby. Tell him you saw Scotia flying away. <sighs> The only one who takes this seriously is Akshel and the king. And let's sleep so we can regenerate our mana. The next thing you're going to do is we try to take down those fucks we saw earlier. Where uh, do we have to go? There. Okay. And yeah, to the right. Why are thugs guarding that cave? No, no, no. I want to save. Let's go. Why are thugs guarding that cave? Could we sneak around now? I won't fight this time. Hey! Get out of here! Yeah, try it. Oh, shit. Those are many. That's not good, that's not good. That's not good. Oh, I... Can we use this? Uh, no. Ah, I have to right click on my portrait. I'm dead. Come on, come on, come on, come on, you can do it. Huh, either that guy doesn't hit or... Actually, it's also good in, in dodging blows. Another try. Why are thugs guarding that cave? Hey! Get out of here! Okay. Okay, this time I will not do something stupid. Sorry for the background noise. Oh, oh no, not good, not good, not good. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh, they split up. I didn't know they would do something like that. Okay, that's not good. Uh, time is over. Anyway. Well, but we had a good start. We had an introduction to the game and got the new sword. Now all we need is to get rid of those facts, or we'll try it later. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it, I certainly did, and goodbye, and have a nice day, see you soon. In the lands of lore.